I don't fish. I hunt. I hunt video games. Now I got a buddy said he's got some. Said he wants to trade. <laughs> Guess I'm getting rid of the fishing poles today. What's up? How you doing? Got the Game Boy here. Okay. I brought both copies of Silver. Yep, I yep. Have. Yeah, I got two of them in there. I keep the case? Yeah, I mean everything, of course. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't need it. Right on. Yeah, we're good to go, man. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Have a yeah. Guys, I think we just executed probably the only fishing pole to video game train. Really wild. The backstory on this is that I actually picked up these fishing poles at a garage sale for 40 bucks. I knew they were around 150, 200 bucks, but did you see how big they were? Really big and bulky item to ship. I thought I'd test the waters over on Facebook Marketplace to see if I could flip them for 150 bucks or by the random grace of the universe, train them for some video games. I'm a creative genius. Now, honestly, I wasn't too picky on the value I'd be receiving. So really any offer of video games that I would have gotten, I would have taken. But this was the first one and we got a fake copy of Pokemon silver go ahead and take a look at the label here you can see that it doesn't have the indented number that's the first side the cartridge is light gray it doesn't have any glitter effect to it and on the back here it's supposed to say made in japan and this doesn't say anything reproduction copy of pokemon fire red again very obvious when looking at the label as you can see there's no indented number if you take a look at the game boy advanced lettering right here the text is a lot more flush on an authentic copy and if you look at the back we don't got that four square that you used to see in reproduction copy of pokemon emerald really would have been sick if this one was real but as you take a look at the label it's clearly fake no indented number game boy advanced lettering is not flush and taking a look at the back it doesn't match at all an authentic copy moving on to the good stuff pokemon silver version authentic this one's got all the signs of an authentic copy including the glitter shell indented number and we got that made in japan on the back pretty obvious to tell which one is authentic looking at them both side by side now lastly the cream of the pop this spice orange game boy advanced really beautiful condition guys comment down below is this a reshell i don't know as you can see from the back this one kind of looks if nevertheless still a really sick piece guys we just traded a fishing pole for games i want to pose this question to you what's the craziest thing you've traded to get your hands on some retro goodies comment down below i'm actually really curious to see if you guys have some crazy stories out there but the getting to games is just getting going so let's get moving back to back trades baby denver's calling my name again and they want me back for a couple more banging barters for real we got two n64 bundles that you guys are gonna go wow, wow. now the first trade we got going on here involves nintendo 64 and xbox Box. But again, we got some distance to travel and I'm not even sure these deals are actually gonna happen. Wish me luck, I'll see ya. Hey, what's up? Take that in, plug it in. Yeah, I was really excited to have this purple one. I'm actually about to head over to another trade. Uh, yeah, but a green one. Okay, I think we're good then, sweet. I appreciate awesome. it. Let me know if you have any issues, okay? Yeah, you too. Thank you again. Awesome, thanks. Bonko Banco just scooped up that first lot and I'm a happy camper, brothers. As long as everything works, of course, I'm really hoping that it does. Packing it up, about to head on over to the next one. But first I wanna give a big shout out to you guys. Thank For you. real, the appreciation on this channel has been bonkers. The channel has grown quite a bit. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers and that's all thanks to you guys. You guys are liking, commenting, showing this channel some love. And I am excited. Static. Almost at 3,000 subscribers, and once we hit it, we gotta hit a giveaway. So really excited for that. Really excited about this next trade that we're about to execute. We're about to roll up, so hold on tight. Hey. You want to test this out, right? Uh, yeah. I'll take a look through this. And I think there's an extra component for this part right here. Oh, an extra cord in there. Yeah. yeah, I just picked up another N64, so I needed cords. All right, man, cool. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, have a good night. You too. Hey. Evening, sir. I have a delivery here for a Cody with a K. Yes. You got a package or? <clears throat> What do you get when you add two Xbox Series S's and a trip to Denver? What Turn around! Oh my god! Spectacular! Dude! 
two Series S trades and we took the cake home with this one. Starting off with the Xbox Series S trade number one, we got a Super Nintendo right here with the classic aftermarket controller. Dirtier than a dingy dungeon and it's signed by Paul McCartney. Bunch of Wii U games to add to the personal stash. As y'all know, I'm trying to complete the full North American Wii U library. So a lot of cool titles to add to the collection even though they're not worth that much cash. Including Mighty Number no. 9, Smash Bros for the Wii U, Star Fox Zero, Mario Kart 8, and we even got the Super Mario Bros U Super Luigi U. Solid to see Mario Party 8 for the Wii in here as well. Next up, a Thrash Nintendo GameCube console. All black looking real good. Nice little surprise right here. We have the Game Boy Player. Matched up with the matching black controller. Unfortunately, there were no games with this GameCube, so that was a little bit of a dud. But the console itself plus the Game Boy Player is still pretty sick to see. Black Nintendo Wii with two controllers. Both look in fair condition with a little bit of doo-doo on them. And finally, to finish up this lot, we have a Jungle Green Nintendo 64 in beautiful condition. How sick is this to pull this one in a trade for an Xbox Series S? And guess what? Expansion pack on the double, nice. baby. Big old bonus on that one. Plus, we got Star Fox 64 loaded and ready to go. On top of the 64, we have two OEM gray controllers and one atomic purple controller. Now, I don't just go to Denver for nothing. So when I had two Xbox Series S trades lined up, I jumped in the automobile and said, giddy up. Next up, Xbox Series S trade number two. Starting off, we have this 500 GB Xbox One S complete in the box. These babies alone push 150 to 200 bucks, bringing our buy cost down to zero. Essentially making the rest of this lot free. Cruising USA, bottom of the nine, ready to rumble boxing, Toy Story 2, which actually pushes around 20 bucks. The original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, if you didn't jam on that one too much, what were you doing? Two copies of 007, the world is not enough. One fitted with that blockbuster swag. We got Mario Kart double time. Why he had two copies of two games, I'm not sure, but I ain't complaining. Super Smash Bros, which explains the five controllers. Mario Tennis. Yoshi's story about the fifth time I picked this bad boy up. Super Mario 64, our first chance to explore and more. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Both authentic, labels look real nice. Pokemon Stadium 2 is prone to cracks in the casing, so this one is perfect. And finally, we got Paper Mario, which is a big hitter in the N64 games. One game that I actually mean to play soon. And lastly, Mario Party 2. Another really solid gem to find. Wrapping up the games for the N64 and moving on to the best of the lot right here, the great Nintendo 64. Matched up with the beautiful OEM controller. Guys, comment down below if that looks beautiful. Guys, so far I found the ice blue Nintendo 64, the jungle green N64, and now the great. Personally, I am very happy and guess what? She's loaded up with the expansion pack. Not to mention three OEM gray controllers in one black. If y'all haven't hopped up on this trade gravy train, then stop waiting and get playing. Because before you know it, time's up.